I'm looking forward to the future installments from the Batman for Matt Reeves and Pattinson. I do consider the Batman to be a masterpiece, but one of the pitfalls I think the Batman could fall into is the over-appeal to realism could be working against future potential use of villains in the franchise. Nolan's more realistic and grounded trilogy of course was essential and a needed rebalancing and progression after the descent into Clooney's nipple suit in the masterpiece Batman and Robin. But I think following too closely to Nolan's realism could be severely limiting to the potential of what the Batman, or more the villains in the Batman, can and probably should be. Burton touched slightly into the comic booky side of Batman where realism was less important, and I do think the Batman in terms of aesthetic and tone has tapped into its own distinct comic look and feel visually. But in terms of how villains can and will be presented in their abilities, I'm worried for how severely limiting the appeal to Nolan level realism might be for the future of the Batman or the Batman villains. Some of the strongest portrayals of Batman characters and villains have come through both the Arkham games and the animated series. These villains are not overly limited by realism. That's not saying anything and everything should be allowed in the future of the Batman films. I still want a degree of groundedness for sure. Ledger's Joker is a character that no one in cinematic history will ever touch. You've changed things. Forever. It brought the archetypal, almost supernatural level chaos of the Joker into a real and grounded world that contained Batman. I say this because yes, the disturbing nihilistic realism of Phoenix's Joker reached similar levels but in its own way, and not in a world going up against a realized Batman, so it's different. See to them, you're just a freak. Like me. But I don't think this hyper-realism can be done with every Batman villain. The need to model everything into a version of Ledger's Joker presented through other villains cuts off the grand scale of potential Batman villains. Mr. Freeze, Man Bat, Mad Hatter, Poison Ivy, and even Scarecrow I think would all be far more interesting and versatile in a landscape in which the rules are further bent beyond an over-appeal to limited realism. While The Dark Knight Rises wasn't a bad film, I think it's by far the least liked of the Nolan series, because by that point, the realism was almost becoming stale for what could be done with the villains. While the over-the-top voice of Bane is iconic in its own right, honestly Bane in contrast to Bane of the comics and Arkham games is boring in his action and physical conflict with Batman. The over-appeal to realism within the world of Batman in some cases can completely take away from the core essence of what Batman villains actually are. Tom Hardy's Bane is just a buff dude with a mask on his face. So much of what actually makes Bane, Bane on a comic level isn't even there. Hardy's performance for what it was isn't bad at all. It's done very well, but Bane needs to be absolutely huge and not five foot nine. Bane needs to have his venom, it's a part of his character. And I just realized it's an interesting coincidence that Hardy also played Venom. Interesting parallel coincidence, just like Patrick Bateman and Batman. Anyways, while all of the Nolan trilogy were grounded in realism, ironically, the first two, I think, had a little more of the comics within them. But by the third film, it seems like Nolan put the realism up to maximum levels, which I hope Reeves doesn't go in the same direction himself. And this is what I'm concerned with with the future of the Batman, the need to strip characters down or majorly change them to fit into perceived realism could easily take away the iconic nature of the Batman villain archetypes, the core essence of what these characters are comic-wise. I think the Batman franchise should go in the direction of progression into more supernatural possibilities, not in the sense of like a Marvel movie where literally anything and everything is instantly possible, but more in a contained supernatural sci-fi horror surrounding some of the villains. What makes supernatural sci-fi horror films effective is that they are surrounded in a grounded, normal human reality. Like seriously, imagine a clay face done with largely practical effects interacting with the dark, stoic, and emo Pattinson. In a film with the tone of sci-fi horror, it would be amazing. What Reeves should do is just fully do Man Bat, fully do Mr. Freeze, fully do Poison Ivy, Mad Hatter, and Clayface, and not limit himself by trying to be Nolan. 
He has to present it visually in a way where it doesn't look like the DCEU overly CGI desensitized Snyder crap, but it still feels like it has the freedom and creativity of the Arkham games in the animated series. Anyways, that's the direction I think the Batman should go. I do like the mobster mafia type of take on the Penguin in the Batman but I don't think that should be applied to every single villain to make it more realistic. Give us science fiction. I mean, Reeves made a talking, fighting ape feel real and somewhat human. He could easily do the same for a man bat, for example. Anyways, that's all. Just my current thoughts, hopes, and wishes towards the Batman. Please like, share, subscribe, comment your Hopes and wishes for the future Batman franchise yourself in the comments below. And bye. Let's put a smile on that face. Why so serious?